Legal authority isn't required to recognize reality. Legal authority is required only to issue a legally binding judgment. Look at it like this. If you come across a stinking dead body, you need not have the legal authority of a coroner to simply recognize that that is indeed a stinking dead body. The legal authority of the coroner is required only to issue a legally binding judgment that the body is dead and matters relating to cause of death. The legal reality of that death depends on that authoritative judgment, but the factual reality depends on no legal judgment. In order to simply recognize the manifest stinking reality of the dead body, one need have no legal authority whatsoever. Our minds were made for truth. We are divinely endowed with the capacity and the thirst for truth, the capacity to recognize truth, to sift truth from error, and we have a thirst for it. Unless, that is, through moral degeneracy, our minds and inclinations have been perverted. In any event, it takes no legal authority whatsoever to recognize that the rapidly anti-Catholic fiend, Francis, cannot possibly be an actual pope. Why? Because actual popes must be actually Catholic, and it's not enough to be baptized, as actual Pope Pius XII explained in Mystici Corporis. Baptism is necessary, but insufficient. One must also profess the actual Catholic faith. But if there's one thing that Francis has clearly shown, it's that he hates the actual Catholic faith, and he hates those who believe in and practice the actual Catholic faith. Therefore, he has a boundless supply of glowing words to say about every variety of non-Catholic. But about actual Catholics, now known as traditional Catholics, he's on the non-stop warpath. Just think, this man actually wants to obliterate the actual, that is, traditional, Roman rite from the face of the earth. That alone is proof that this man cannot possibly be an actual pope, because actual popes are divinely protected from doing such things. Moreover, the actual Catholic Church is divinely protected from defecting, from being overcome by hell. But the entity now led by Francis, this sodomitical and heretical entity, has manifestly been overcome by hell. Therefore, this entity the Novus Ordo Antichurch, spawned during Vatican II and now led by Antipope Francis, cannot possibly be the actual one holy Catholic and apostolic church. The actual Catholic Church is in the catacombs once again. It can never fully disappear. It cannot be overcome by hell. That is a divine promise from the lips of our Lord himself. And so if you say that this entity now led by Francis, anti-Pope Francis, is the actual Catholic Church. You're saying that our Lord Jesus Christ himself lied. You're saying that the actual Catholic Church can be overcome by hell. Because as is proven, every day, the entity run by Francis has been overcome by hell. And if you don't know that, you're simply uninformed. I urge you, see the links below this video. It's time to get real, really real.